insanely gorgeous here. We're on the patrol right now. Um, we are about to start a four-day backpacking trip here in the North Cascades. So I'm super excited. It has been a very long time since we have done a backpacking trip. I'm excited, but we're a little bit nervous because our shoulders are definitely not adapted to this. So we hope this goes smoothly and we're going to take you guys with us. Alex decided to take the weight of the camera, so you guys will come along with us. Guys, that water is so blue. Like, insanely clear and blue. To ninja our way up here, that looks like. This, I think, was where the old trail used to go. It's no longer there. And we have to go up this way. Oh, well, that's a little rough. Fun, though, eh? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm just losing my ground. Causing a little rock slide there. Okay, well, I, we didn't film there because we needed all our hands and limbs and everything, but that was crazy. Um, we just see the other part of the trail. It's not washed out now, so now it's just a matter of getting down. So that was super brutal. We just got down, super sketch. I'm just thankful we managed to get out of that without injuring anything. And now we're gonna keep going on our trail. So the next three and a quarter miles we gained 3,000 feet. So definitely starting to feel that pack weight more. So we're about 80 or so percent of the way up. Alex tracks our percentage the whole time up. Anyway, so we're, we're getting close, but we started getting our first peaks at like the peaks in the distance. So they're really gorgeous. Right here. So we've come up on the ridge and there's just tons of huckleberries up here. So that's what we're doing now instead of finding a campsite. Mm. How are they? They taste very fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, after eating way too many huckleberries, which you may see on my teeth, Alex was saying, we finally found a campsite. It looks lovely. We got a little mountain in the distance and it even has a little fire ring, but it, there's definitely a fire ban here. We've been having horrible fires here on the West Coast. So definitely no fires for us, but found a spot, yay. Now we need to set up the tent. So what's for dinner? We are having the Backpacker's Pantry Kathmandu Curry, which is probably our favorite one. It's a beautiful area, but I'm really out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> At least out of backpacking shape. It's really nice being out here. Just to kind of, I don't know, it's just so silent here. 
even compared to the little small town that we live in. It's just so quiet. It's really nice. How's the packing going, honey? Well, I could use some berries for some energy. <laughs> okay, on it. We aren't gonna be able to eat breakfast until later on, so this is our breakfast to tie us over. Barry's right outside our tent. All right, good morning, guys. Um, it's an insanely beautiful morning, and we're finally headed out. We've packed up, had our fill of huckleberries, <laughs> and now are gonna hit the road. We actually really need to find water before we can make proper breakfast, so we're gonna head to a camp um, that's about two miles away that has water, but it's like down 200 feet, up 1,000, so. That's the theme of today, guys. It's up and down. <laughs> Well, it's been a beautiful place to have breakfast. Like, look at that background, guys. That's insane. It just feels like a little piece of heaven, babbling brook. But now we have to filter a bazillion things of water. They look like they're from like a Dr. Seuss book. They're really funny. Looking. Okay, so we stopped for a little snack break. What you eating? Tortilla with peanut butter. Show the camera the the, thing, the peanut butter. It's four days. This is a reasonable amount for four days. Liz doesn't think it is. It's over a pound. We need food. This is great. It's so high in fat. That's what you need when you're out here. That's It's like a quarter cup of peanut butter per person per day. That seems reasonable to me. <laughs> He's probably got about 20 pounds of just water on there. Uh, I should probably explain. So we have to carry all this water with us because there's pretty much no water sources from what we hear. There might be one somewhere in between here in Devil's Dome, but we don't know. So we're just bringing extra water with us just in case we don't have enough. Picking berries again. <laughs> Everywhere. <gasps> Filling up more water since we don't know where our water sources are. Gotta fill up when we have it. We're taking a lunch break. I decided to let my feet air out because they were feeling a little damp and like I'm getting blisters. So gonna take advantage of this time. We have a gorgeous view here. Um, lunch today is gonna be kind of what we have every day pretty much, which is the vegan jerky. If you haven't tried this Louisville vegan jerky, it is seriously the best vegan jerky I've ever had. It's also gluten-free and it's amazing. And peanut butter and crackers and tortillas for Alex. Takes a lot of grunting to, to take to 
put on the backpack. This has been like a theme of this whole trail. We go a little bit, pick some berries, go a little bit, pick some berries. Might explain why we're so slow. I'd rather go with that than we're out of shape. So that's what we're gonna go with, berry picking. Nice little waterfall. So how much did we not need to fill all those gallons of water? We could have waited a very long time. <laughs> These look like they're from Super Mario. So we see something up ahead that's black and moving. From here, it looks like it could be a black bear. We'll get a little closer and let you know. Alex was able to confirm in his long camera lens. It is a black bear. We lost it now. So now we're like... It could it be in the bushes. Could be anywhere. <laughs> no, but seriously, it really could be anywhere. So we're on bear patrol right now. So we're going, the trail is going the opposite direction of the bear. Unfortunately, we can't seem to find him. So I think our um, bear encounter is going to be just that brief glimpse. We were just saying that this is why we go through all this pain of carrying all this weight. You just get these amazing views and it's been just, we've been pretty much by ourselves. We've passed a few different groups, but really not too many people. It's insanely gorgeous here. Let's look at this. Well, good news is, absolutely beautiful sunset happening. Bad news is, we don't even know where we're gonna camp tonight, and we don't know if there's any campsites for a very long time, not before the sun would already be down. We keep looking for like the last couple of miles for campsites, and there's just been nothing. So, we're a little nervous, and our feet are exhausted. We made it. I can't raise my arms because this thing's too heavy. Hold on. <laughs> uh. Uh. Mm. What do you think? Half an hour of daylight we have left? I mean, it's already dark, so... I mean, maybe the sun will go completely down in about 20 minutes or so. Yeah, so we gotta get the tent up. Yeah. Ready? You wanna, you wanna work some magic? And do I have a wand? <laughs> All right. Let's see. All Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Taking our food down with a couple of branches with it. <laughs> this is not, this kind of environment's really hard for uh, setting up, like hanging your food. As you can see, all the trees kind of, they have these branches that slope down. And so like finding one that actually works, you have to be pretty close to the trunk. And the views this morning are amazing. Good morning, guys. We are just finishing packing up. We took our merry little time this morning. 
Um, the, it was just gorgeous scenery all around us. So definitely just had breakfast and drank tea and just had a good time. Um, Alex is packing up our stuff right now. Alex is super OCD about how things are folded. Whereas I tend to be just more like, let's just get it in and get it going. Um, so he likes to do this solo. I've offered just for the record. Yeah, that's because the way Liz folds it, it doesn't actually go in. <laughs> it does. It just doesn't look as pretty. All right. So we just finished packing up. Man, that takes a long time. So yesterday, I think we forgot to say, our total mileage was almost 13 miles and like 4,500 feet of gain. So I think today should be a lot easier. Anyway, but it's a beautiful day. I am looking forward to getting down to the water and jumping in. So we're just like right away, um, have just amazing views, like giant mountains. All right, guys, we made it to the apex of this backpacking trip. We're at 6980, so almost 7,000 feet. It's gorgeous up here. Have these gorgeous clouds at the mountains, just 360 degrees, really. It's beautiful. Um, so we're just gonna have a little snack here and then head down. That's an insane view. We just got our first glimpse of Ross Lake way off in the distance over there. That's where we're headed tonight to camp and hopefully for a quick bath <laughs> if it's not too cold. Okay, Ooh, this has not been very pleasant. We didn't vlog really because no one wants to see people suffer yeah. <laughs> down um, over 5,000 feet of loss. Um, it's been really hot. There's ooh, been tons of mosquitoes out. So bad. So we just have 3.2 miles that are now relatively flat. We're done the 5,400 feet of descent. And then it's our campsite and then water. Yeah. set up the tent. <laughs> it's already there.
Good morning. From Ross Lake. So it is the morning of our last day on this backpacking trip. We're on our way out. We just left our camp. Had a nice kind of a chill morning, just enjoying the, the scenery and uh, and a really great oatmeal breakfast. <laughs> we got about nine miles today. All right, you're allowed to gloat. So, <clears throat> one second. Liz got on my case because she thought this would be too much peanut butter for four days. And here we are, last day at lunch. It's gone. I'm having to scrape it off the lid. So yeah, I guess in other words, I was right. <laughs> lighter with less food. Yeah, now that the peanut butter and the tortillas are gone. <laughs> around 43 miles. Now we get to do the really exciting part and take off our shoes. <laughs> Any backpacker would understand the joy that is taking off your shoes at the end of a big trip. Oh. That's the stuff. 